Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a cooking video with a very popular product that you'll find in markets, Spam. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of Spam before and maybe some of you guys really like to eat Spam and you eat it in very simple ways and you're probably looking for different ways on how to eat Spam. And that's what I wanna show you today because you can make Spam in dozens of ways. There's like so many recipes out there, but I'm gonna make it simple for you guys by showing you five simple, delicious recipes that you can cook for any occasion and you'll remember it for a lifetime. These are some of my favorite recipes. So if you guys wanna learn how to make Spam in five different delicious ways, then you must stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see how to make Spam in all these really cool different ways. And also if you're new to this channel, then take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I release these awesome food videos weekly that you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead and do that right now. And now let's go and let's get cooking. The first thing you want to do, of course, is to open the can of Spam. Take the block of Spam out and cut them into four slices. You'll need some of these ready for pan searing. Oil that pan up and let it cook for about one minute on each side to make it nice and crispy. After you are done, take it out and set it aside on a plate. So let's go ahead with dish number one, fried egg and Spam with rice. This is surely the easiest of the five that I'll show you today, and it's super delicious. The ingredients you need for this dish is two eggs, two seared Spam, and some pepper. That's it. Begin by putting oil into your pan or pot, and be generous with it because we are literally frying those eggs. Why? So it can be crispy all around the edges. Crack those eggs and drop them into the pot when it's nice and hot. Get it cooked on one side for about 20 to 30 seconds, then flip it over, but don't let it cook too long on that other side, lest you cook the yolk completely. Maybe four or five seconds will do. Then have your Spam ready on the plate and place the cooked eggs on top of the Spam. Finish it off with some peppers on top and a nice side of white rice. And there you have your dish. Dish number two. Spam fried rice. If you love Spam with rice or fried rice to be exact, then this is the one you gotta try. There aren't too many ingredients involved. One cup of corn, one cup of diced scallions, one to one and a half cup of uncooked Spam cubed, soy sauce, and white rice. Be sure to use Japanese or Korean white rice because these pair better with Spam than the other kinds of rice. Begin by oiling up that wok then cracking one egg open and into the pot. Let it cook for about 10 seconds. Then use your spatula to mix it around in the wok until it's all small shreds of eggs. Then you add the white rice along with the corn and the scallions and the Spam and start mixing it around in that pot. Then add about 1 4th cup of soy sauce and mix it around. You can put a little bit more or a little bit less depending on your preference. To enhance the flavor, finish it off with some drizzles of sesame oil. And there you have your dish. Dish number three, Spam Burger. If you want Spam in a delicious sandwich form, then this is your recipe. Let's go over the ingredients. Hamburger buns, 1 4th Julian sliced onion, 1 egg, mozzarella cheese slice, and 1 seared Spam. Also have your sauce spread ready, which is basically a mix of mayonnaise, sriracha, and a teaspoon of soy sauce. Begin by oiling up the wok and cooking those onions until caramelized, then remove. Next, oil the wok up again and add in an egg to fry it. Make sure it's nice and crispy on the edges. Last thing you want to do is to toast your buns. Drop a small slab of butter into the pot, spread it around, then place the two sides of the bun face down until it gets crispy. After the buns are ready, spread that spicy mayo on top of the buns, then it's good to go on top of the assembled sandwich. And there you have it. Dish number four, Spam Ramen. What would Spam be without noodles, right? 
This is a pretty simple and delicious spam recipe using ramen noodles. The ingredients are one bok choy, one egg, one piece of uncooked spam, and the ramen. You can use any instant ramen you want, but I recommend try this Korean gomtang brand, it's pretty good. Begin by boiling water in a pot, then add the bok choy and cook for about 45 seconds. Doesn't have to be too long. In the meantime, you can also boil the egg and let that cook for about 5 minutes. Now it's time to boil the ramen noodles, how fun! Add in the noodles as well as the soup base and your spam, and cook until it gets to the right texture. The package will tell you how long to cook this. Add the ramen into a bowl and finish it off with the bok choy, spam, and the egg sliced in two. I prefer mine a bit yolky, but you can do it however way you want. And there you have it. And last, dish number five, spaghetti spam. In case you want to go the Italian route, try this version, which is a take on Italian carbonara. The ingredients you need are spaghetti noodles, parmesan cheese, black pepper, one egg, one fourth julienne sliced onion, two strips of bacon sliced up, and one cup of diced spam. Begin by mixing a spoonful of parmesan into your egg, along with a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix it thoroughly. Then in a separate pot, have your water boiling with a teaspoon of salt to add flavor. Then boil the noodles until al dente, maybe about like 10 minutes. Then in your pot, add some oil, add the onions, bacon, and spam in, cooking it for about one minute. Then afterwards, add in the drained noodles and mix it around for about 15 seconds to soak in the bacon oil. Then add the egg mix in and stir around for about 10 seconds. If you want your spaghetti less yolky, then of course you should go a bit longer. Finish it off by adding some Parmesan cheese on top, and there you have your dish. Well there you go with five simple, delicious, easy recipes, and I hope that your food turns out awesome at home. And if you do end up making any of these recipes, please drop a comment below and let me know how yours turned out. I'd be very curious to see that. So thank you so much for watching guys and uh, please drop a like for this video so that it can help this video become really popular. Be sure to share it as well with others who desperately need some spam recipes out there in order to make their cooking life a little bit more exciting. And don't forget guys to subscribe to this channel once again. Just hit that subscribe button as well as these notification bell so that you can get these food episodes weekly. Well anyways, I hope you have a rocking day today and that you'll try some of these awesome spam recipes sometime soon. And be sure to also click on the other videos on my screen so that you can be directed to one of my other awesome food adventures. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.